George here. Thought I'd bring you an update on my 77 Ford pickup. Well, if you've been following along, you know I dug it out of the backyard last week and took it up to the car wash and cleaned it all out. And I fixed the hub on it. So that's working. And then I decided to take the seat out and the carpet to see how bad this floor is and yeah Ugh. torch got a little work ahead of him she's gone there's big holes all over Kind of surprised to see this nice cover in there for the gear shifts and stuff. So I'll be taking that off and cleaning that up and checking that out. That's pretty cool. So I'll probably get a new boot for it, maybe. But yeah, I just uh, went online and ordered 50 buckets of. Bondo from Amazon, so I'm hoping that's enough, especially for this hole. That's a big one. Man. Oh, and I got that door to open. I had to take the insides apart and lubricate everything, and finally it opened. I was like, holy cow. I, don't, I can't even remember last time that door was open, probably... 12 years ago maybe because I always just came in the driver's side door and but and this one's always been messed up it's never shut so I took all of the guts out of there and I'm going to try and get that fixed so I can at least shut the door like normal instead of having a bungee corded everywhere I go but that won't be for oh, quite a while because first thing I'm going to tackle is fixing this floor and when I say fixing it I mean fix it for the poor man style I'm just gonna cut out what's real bad form some sheet metal in here and be done with it because I mean honestly this this thing ain't gonna last forever it's not worth it I mean, I would need a, if I was going to do this right, I'd just get another cab. <laughs> I mean, seriously. I mean, the corners are gone. Down here on both sides. The other side's even worse. You know, I mean, it's all, it's just so gone. It's like, just get a new cab, get new doors, and forget it, but. I crawled underneath her and the frame still looks pretty good. It's pretty dang rusty, but it's solid. So, at least I know I'm not totally wasting my time. And if sometime I ever did come into some real cash, then maybe I will yank the cab and get a new one. But, I don't know. I mean, is it even worth it, you know? I'd be better off if I come into money just uh, getting a whole nother finding a whole nother truck that's already done oh and I got another nice little challenge here see these vents can you see all of that debris down in there how do you clean that out I have no clue I mean I can't even fit a vacuum cleaner nozzle down in there you know, and I'm not finding any openings. I found this little plug here. I was like, well, that ain't going to do nothing. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to look up underneath the dash. But if any of you guys have any idea of how I can get in there and clean that crap out. That's probably why I never had any heat. Is because it's all full of crap in there. And it's probably full in the vents and everything else. So, I don't know. I think I'm going to have to take the dash piece out underneath the glove box just to get in there at the fan 
motor still looks good for whatever however old this thing is 77 to 2019 and I can't even do that math in my head that's why I use Bondo <laughs> no actually it's from using Bondo all the years my brain don't work anymore but yeah look at this I mean that corner cap totally gone this piece is gone well, I guess it is connected to something I thought that thing was just like swinging there but yep but anyway so yeah I think I'm gonna have to take out that big old bad boy just to get at those vents I don't know any other way I can get in there and clean that but otherwise well so this is the project and I probably won't show you much until and maybe after I get it all cut out of what I'm gonna replace I mean a lot of this even though it's rusty it's still pretty solid so I'm just gonna clean that up and prime it with some rust preventative crap or something and just patch over the top of whatever I'll probably cut back here and whatever just to get all the weak stuff out this stuff I have no clue Let's put little patches on that I don't know we'll see how it goes I might have to totally abandon the project halfway through who knows something else happens and then it's gonna sit for another who knows how many years but for now this is the plan so you can see the original color it's silver the metallic flake I thought that was actually pretty nice but when I got the truck of course it didn't look like that it was like all faded really bad and I knew I knew people that had a, a blue truck back in the day and I always liked the way that truck looked so that's why I painted it blue but yeah as you can see the original stuff it's pretty dingy it almost looks like somebody scrubbed it with an SOS pad or something probably could have buffed it out but you know all the rust and everything else is like I ain't gonna bother anyway so that's about all I've really gotten done on it so far I got good brakes, I just got to figure out where my fluid is leaking, I believe it's in the back, but as you can see I'm kind of packed for room here, I can't crawl underneath there, this truck takes up a lot of real estate, but anyway there's good meat on those pads, the rotors look pretty good, so that's a good sign, I don't really care about the back so much, so you never really use the back brakes anyway. I mean you do a little bit but I like the fronts anyway that's about it for this there's my old previous Bondo job I have to fix that that was so funny when I did this this piece of chrome was still here in, in perfect shape and I just Bondoed right to it <laughs> It, it, hey, it held up a long time, man. It's got to be, I don't know, I'm going to have to go dig through my videos. But I know it was a long time ago. To take this light off, it's all full of mold inside. Clean that up if I can, but I don't know, it's broken. I'm afraid if I take it apart, it's just going to crumble. But, anyway, that's where I'm at with this. Oh yeah, and I took the headliner out. There's the chrome trim pieces. I cleaned them up. And that headliner cardboard is just totally warped. So I don't know. I'll probably just see if you can see the ceiling in there. Ceiling looks good. Or the roof. The roof. So I can't believe this dash pad too. It doesn't have any cracks in it or nothing. It was amazing. And I have to definitely put some some of that poor, what is that stuff? 303. 
put that stuff on there. I got the visors out and cleaned up. Man, those things had so much dust and mold on them. It was unbelievable. Mold was the biggest problem. I mean, everything was just full of mold. That's why I'm like, this carpet's got to go. I mean, the seat I can clean. Clean that up with my carpet cleaner. But, man. That, that carpet, look at that. It's ugh, nasty. Nasty, nasty mold. It's sick just sitting in this thing. So, anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Torch out.